anything is possible when you have imagination. We are aiming for making something that you've really never seen before. I sort of had the idea of doing a one-person Christmas carol uh, late in the last century. Dickens himself did it as a one-person show. I knew because Jefferson was playing all the roles that it couldn't be your normal Christmas carol with the big fake turkey. We wanted to make something that was much more visceral, indulging in the ghost story. We need to be as scared as Scrooge is so that we fully are open to the idea of ghosts and spirits and change, and change is scary. But also with a, a, a sort of immensely clear message of, of hope for humanity. I'm obsessed with Jefferson Mays. There is a scale in his performance and a, and a sort of virtuosity. It is such a thrill as an actor to be able to tell an entire story. And when the production works perfectly around that, it does create a kind of singular experience. I'm spoiled now. How am I going to work with anybody else? Meeting uh, Michael and Dane, we graduated to a whole different realm. A, a dream-like landscape where the, the story was just cracked open and it is so lovely to be able to share this story with so many people now. It's certainly cathartic for me and, uh, and I think will be, you know, cathartic to, to audiences. I can't listen to Jefferson <laughs> speak the final words of this play and, and not feel like, oh, you know what, I could, I could do better. I could help someone, I could look at someone with compassion. The possibility for change and uh, redemption uh, that lies within all of our hearts. Mm -hmm.